And I'll tell you what levelling up is. A few years ago, they started a school not far from the Olympic Park, a new school anyone could send their kids to, in an area that for decades has been one of the most disadvantaged in London. That school is Brampton Manor Academy, and it now sends more kids to Oxbridge than Eton. And if you want proof of what I mean by unleashing potential and by levelling up, look at Brampton Manor. And we can do it. There is absolutely no reason why the kids of this country should lag behind or why so many should be unable to read or write or do basic mathematics uh, at 11. And to level up, to level up, on top of the extra 14 billion we're putting into education, on, uh, on top of the increase that means every teacher starts with a salary of 30,000 pounds. We're announcing today a leveling up premium of up to 3,000 pounds to send the best maths and science teachers to the places that need them most. And above all, we are investing... We're investing, in our, we're investing in our skills. Skills, folks. Our universities are world beating. I, 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 I owe everything to my, to my tutors. Then they're one of the great glories of our economy. But we all know that some of the most brilliant and imaginative and creative people in Britain, some of the best paid people in Britain, did not go to university. And to level up, you need to give people the options, the skills that are right for them, and to make the most of those skills and knowledge. You need urgently to plug all the other gaps in the infrastructure that are still holding uh, people and communities back. As I've been saying over, the, over this wonderful conference uh, to you, when I became leader of this party, there were only, can you remember, what percentage of, 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 of uh, households had gigabit broadband when you were so kind as to make me leader? Seven, you've been paying attention, some of you. This. <laughs> 7%, only 7%, they're absolutely right. And but what will it be by the new year? Actually, I'm told tonight it's 68% by the, by the new year. And thanks to, thanks, to Rishi's, thanks, to Rishi's, thanks to Rishi's super deduction, the pace is now accelerating massively as companies thrust the fibre optic vermicelli in the most hard to reach places. And, it's wonderful. For, for years, uh, the SNP leader in, at Westminster, Ian Blackford, has been telling the Commons that he is nothing but a humble crofter <laughs> on the Isle of Skye. Well, now that we have fibre optic broadband uh, of, uh, of, of a very high quality, we can inspect the library, or, or, is, it, or is it perhaps the billiard room <laughs> of Ian Blackford's croft? And that is levelling up in action. And, My friends, it's, it's, not good enough. it's not good enough just to rely on Zoom. After decades of duck decisions, our national infrastructure is way behind some of our key competitors. It's a disgrace that you still can't swiftly cross the Pennines by rail, a disgrace that Leeds is the largest city in Europe with no proper metro system, a waste of human potential that so many places are not served by decent bus routes. Transport is one of the supreme leveller uppers. And we are making the big generational changes shirked by previous governments. We will do Northern Powerhouse Rail. We will link up the cities of the Midlands and the North. We will restore those sinews of the Union that have been allowed to atrophy. The A1 north of Berwick and on into Scotland. The A75 in Scotland is so vital for the links with, uh, with Northern Ireland and the rest of the country. The North Wales Corridor. Yes. And we will invest in our roads unblocking those coagulated roundabouts and steering wheel bending traffic lights with four, putting on 4,000 more clean green buses made in this country, some of them running on hydrogen. And as we, as we come out of COVID, as we come out of COVID, our towns and cities are going to be buzzing with life because we know that a productive workforce needs the spur that only comes with face-to-face -face meetings and water cooler gossip. If young people are to learn on the job in the way that they always have and must, we will and must see people back in the office. And that is why... And that is why we are building back better. That is why we are building back better with a once-in-a-century £640 billion programme of investment. And by making neighbourhoods safer, by putting in the gigabit broadband, by putting in the roads and the schools and the healthcare, we will enable more young people everywhere to share the dream of home ownership, the great ambition of the human race that the left always privately share but publicly disparage. And we can do it.